Greetings, we're back with another video. And in this video, we're going to be reviewing the new release McFarlane DC Multiverse Dark Side, classic Dark Side action figure. Now, when this was first announced, it popped up on um, McFarlane Toy Store, completely sold out. I mean, it sold out so fast, I was like, man, I couldn't even take a break off the job to actually go on my phone to order it. Because I'm like, you know, I want to get it, but I didn't know it was going to get posted in and sold out that fast but it did fast forward to about maybe a day later i started to notice that it started popping up on other websites you know it started popping up on amazon it started popping up on gamestop it started popping up on uh maybe target too i think but it was slowly starting to populate and pop up on more websites so you know i put my pre-orders in still waiting for my pre-orders but when i went to gamestop recently they had it sitting on the shelf so you know i had to snag it <laughs> even though i pre-ordered it with gamestop i'm still waiting for my order i did find it in store so i picked it up but overall packaging looks fantastic you get let me move superman over and stand right there you get two two heads you get his angry face you get his stoic uh serious face and you get two extra hands which is overall a fantastic mega figure for forty dollars i gotta say it's not bad i was on the verge of getting the mattel version and that goes for like a hundred or two sometimes two hundred dollars man i'm like man i just want a classic dark side and i'm glad that mcfarlane released this bad boy there's a lot of controversy behind this i know i see reviews of it but we're gonna crack this bad boy open and take a closer look shortly. It also comes with a cool card in the back. Here's the back packaging. You get a classic look of uh, Dark Side, and I actually like the font that they use for this too. This is a very good, um, good packaging. Here's the side. And it's all about uniformity. You know what I'm saying? But I'm liking that. You know what I'm saying? All of the packages are still remaining the same after almost three years now. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm appreciating this. But let's crack this bad boy open and take a closer look. Okay, so here's Dark Side. And right off the box, right out the package, as soon as I received, got mines, I actually had to take that emblem off. <laughs> it comes with an emblem that you've seen in it is in the packaging, but I had to really do some serious customization with this bad boy. Like I said, I've seen other people's reviews and the gripes that they had with it. Overall, it's still a great figure. I like the figure. Um, here's his extra head scope, as you can see. Menacing, menacing, menacing look. I love the detail and design, that Jack kirby -ish look. I love that. As far as his hands, he has his pointing hand. And then he has his open splayed hand. And what I did with that emblem, I just put it in his hand. You know? You know what I'm saying? But the emblem came out pretty good, though. You know what I'm saying? If you decide to leave it on there, remove it. It's up to you. But for me, I just wanted that classic look of Dark Side. So I removed the emblem and put it in his hand. Now, as far as this figure... Aside from the controversy, I know a lot of people do not like this figure and how it came out. Some people do, you know. But the, from the criticisms that I've seen with this, there's two things that I had to actually do to, you know what I'm saying, do some modifications. First, it was the legs. I had to pretty much shave this off a bit. And I had to remove this emblem. But overall, aside from that, this figure came out impressive. This is Dark Side. That head sculpt that you can see on there is really menacing. I love the way that came out. The attention to detail and everything. Jack Kirby, if he was alive, he'd be like, that's most impressive. I'm pretty sure he would. But this is the dark side that I think all of us collectors have been waiting for. That classic version. Sure, there's going to be many more. We're going to get a modern version and everything. And you know what I'm saying? A lot of people that reviewed this they're a little bit discouraged by it and i get why you know there's a lot of things that could have been tweaked tweaked or we worked but overall i'm still a fan of this particular dark side like i said i could have spent upwards to a hundred or something dollars for that classic one just to get the classic one but i'm glad that we have a regular base retail of forty dollars we're getting two 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 sets of hands and we're getting another head scope i'm sold regardless you know what i'm saying he usually just stands there so as far as like his legs not bending he's usually just a stoic standing figure anyway but like i said i wanted to customize my legs to actually give him a little bit more posability so he can kick out a little bit more because you're not going to get these kicks right out the box i'm gonna tell you right now you know what i'm saying 
As far as his arms, a lot of people have a problem with his arms because they said the arms pop out a lot easier than they should. But if you've handled McFarlane action figures before, you know, the joints aren't really, you know what I'm saying? They're not going to break on you. You can easily just pop them back in. I had that same problem with Doomsday. So it really doesn't bother me when his arm may pop out if I'm posing him. What I noticed is this particular joint right here, the elbow, is the most tightest part of this arm you know of the arm so that's why when you're trying to pose this and you're trying to bend the arm yeah you're gonna get this 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 shoulder is gonna pop out on you because this joint is too tight when you trying to you know what i'm saying just get a, a a good bend so i get that but overall i like how he came out as far as like removing this there's a piece in the middle here that you can see i shaved down and like removed that was what this was connected to and I decided to move that and shave that down. I'm still going to put a little bit of blue paint over it. So I'm not completely done yet. But as far as like the cape. Pop this off. <clears throat> so as you can see, the cape sits on this little wire here, right? So when you have this piece in here, it's actually snug very easily in there. Which goes over it like this. So, you know, if you want to put it back on, you can. You know what I'm saying? What I was thinking about doing though was like getting like a magnet piece to put inside of here, put a magnet piece on this, and then pop it right on there so that way it can stay in place. But here's the cape, and the cape is fully articulated. And just to show you how I do mines, I just slide this bad boy in here like this, pop the head back on, so that way you can't see that wire that's exposed. And there I there is my doomsday. My excuse me, my dark side. But overall. I like the way he came out. He's a very good figure to me. And then you could get the display, you know, it's the, the, the cape. It's not that bad. I know that McFarlane is actually working as far as trying to get a very good bendy wired cape. But I mean, for me personally, it could have been plastic and I wouldn't have no problem with it. I do like the flared out the fleck that the cape does give you. But overall, fantastic figure. I actually have another one on the way because I want three of these bad boys because I do want to do some more customizations with this guy. I, for what I, and for the criticism that this these figures get, I'm gonna say this: when we remember Catwoman, right? When Catwoman came out, everybody was, you know, complaining about the diaper butt. Now this figure goes for double the price on the aftermarket. So what's going to happen with Doom with Dark Side here? Dark Side is going to end up shooting up in price. Because anytime McFarlane does give us one character, if he does re-release it again, it's going to be a totally different variation. We may get an all grayscale color. We may get a modern Doom, uh, Dark Side. But I would say pick this up. It's $40 right now. I think on Amazon, as I'm filming this, it's up available to order right now. You can get overnight shipping and boom, you can have it. So... That's if people that's on the fence, you know what I'm saying? But overall, I like the way he came out. I'm glad I finally have a classic doomsday to go in my DC shelf because, like I said, I was going to go ahead and buy that that expensive one that was released years ago on Mattel. But, I mean, we got a good, huge, tall, in-scale dark side that I'm, I'm, I'm happy to have. Now, as far as size comparison, here he is standing next to the Monitor Wave Superman. And here he is standing next to the newly released NECA Ronin Ninja Turtle Michelangelo. Here he is standing next to Marvel Legends Rogue. And here he is standing next to the Masters of the Universe uh, Shira Ketra. Here he is standing next to the Dark Knight Returns Superman body with the um, new Hush super head, Superman head. Here he is standing next to the newly released McFarlane Toys Rookie 2 pack. And here he is standing next to my other two dark sides that I collected. This one on the right is the new Beast Kingdom one. This goes for like $150 because it has a light up chest, has multiple accessories and everything. So this is like a more modern take on, you know what I'm saying, dark side, which I like. And this one is from the Zack Snyderverse. Uh, armored version mcfarlane toys dark side and i think he only came with like a staff or something but overall you know what i'm saying looking at 
my collection of dark side i gotta say the one that stands out the most is the classic one i do still like the modern take on dark side i'm pretty sure we're gonna get a mcfallen version of the modern one i don't see us getting any more of these i think i heard a rumor that there may be a throne coming with this one but as far as this one right here this is my go-to dark side and like i said he's up on amazon right now i know he's on ultra multiple other websites you should get him while you can now because just like how we had this Catwoman situation where everybody had a problem with the diaper butt, she done skyrocket up in price because it's no longer being produced. So I would say get in when you can now. You know what I'm saying? If you are not a fan of doing customizations and this may not be for you, you may just want them just to have on your shelf and that's cool. But as far as like the customizers out there, I already see some cool customs that people are actually putting together and actually, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much put more detail and more definition and more articulation in Dark Side, which I knew I was going to do as soon as I got this. But uh, that's my review. Rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you're picking this one up. Tell me if you got it already. What do you think? And I'll catch you in another video in the future. Peace.